Hi guys, this is JP from FSI Panel. On this video, I will show you how FSI Panel 2020 can interact with the new Phoenix A320 beautiful aircraft. It is not yet released, this is just a teaser, so have a look at how easy that could be. And we are now running some beta phases, everything looks good, so it should be released very soon. So let me show you, I just started here the uh, Phoenix A320 in Zurich on runway 14. And I will click on ready to fly and we are in the cockpit as you can see beautiful weather now in Zurich today unfortunately a little bit of rain and we will just let the aircraft initialize and then I will show you how to prepare your approach with FSI panel so now everything seems to be good so we're gonna start FSI panel And the first thing you will see there is that the aircraft is detected. If you see anything else, like I saw on some forum, FNX or whatever, this is not yet uh, the actual Phoenix A320, because FSI panel can also import any custom aircraft, but with different success depending on how the uh, developer is using the uh, SIM connect variables. So now we have the correct Phoenix A320, we're in Zurich on runway 14, and for the first approach, what we, what we will try is just to go on a long final, which is around 8 miles final, if I want to practice a landing in that bad weather. So I'll click on long final, and I'm ready, so I just have to click move aircraft. So let's see together what, happen, what happens sorry, when we click on move aircraft. So move aircraft, the first thing you will see there is that your flaps are moving to full, and FSI panel is giving you some instructions. Please set IIS 145, so make sure you are in uh, not in, select, in selected mode, sorry, not in manage, in selected mode, and select your speed as instructed, so in that case 145. Then the heading should be 134. This is my uh, final heading on the runway 14. 134. And finally, the altitude 3700. So let's go for 3700. And now that I'm, I have set this, the only thing I have to do is set my thrust levers to climb. All right, let's do that. Climb. And now FSI panels bring us in the air. And it will set everything for you. You can see on your uh, PFD, vertical speed, heading. Now the auto thrust is coming on. And FSI panel will Continue the setup. Now the MCDU will be set just basically with the runway. Sorry, not the runway, the airport. So you will see now the programmation of your MCDU. And the target altitude is 4, 000, sorry, 3,700. So now the aircraft is going toward 3,700 feet. The MCDU ILS is set. We can see the ILS indications right there. And when we're reaching 3,700 feet, FSI panel will give us the control. So let's see that happening now. I'll star. We are reaching 3,700 feet. My MCDU is basically set. We have the auto brake to low. And now FSI panel will tell you, please check flight director on and LS on desired. So flight director on. I will do that later on and uh, ls if desired it's already on so now we are ready to fly so set mcdu at this time you could set whatever you want in the in the box and when you're ready to fly you click acknowledge and you have the control now you see that we had a little bit of wind quite a bit actually so this is why we drift during the trimming phase so make sure you change your heading to the right to intercept your localizer so right now we'll take around 15 degrees to the right so that the airbus can in intercept the localizer so I'm ready to fly, I click acknowledge, I get the control. Now I will go to the right just to get my localizer and I can arm the approach. We can see localizer glad slope arm. And as soon as we get localizer and glide slope, localizer star, glide slope is armed. I can put the second autopilot and we are ready to go. As you can see, you can fly your approach. So let's fly this approach and see the landing report.
All right, let's see now the landing. We are land. Everything looks good. We'll see the auto land. Flare, return, and we landed. Everything looks good. To pilot off. And we will just stop here on the runway and see the landing report. All right, let's stop here. Set the parking brake, and now we will take a FSI panel and have a look at the landing report. And the landing report shows you that the auto land was in fact nicely done by uh, the aircraft. Good job by Phoenix. We have a landing distance which is right, slightly right of center line, but otherwise a nice positive landing, but a good landing. And the tracking of the localized and glide slope was perfect under the autopilot. Very good. So we just landed, I will not touch anything, we go back into the simulator and uh, the only thing we will do now is let's try to go for uh, vectors to final. So I will not touch anything, as you can see we just landed and I'm ready for my next approach. So I'll bring FSI panel and this time I want to go on the left hand vectors. That's the only thing I have to do and then I will click on move aircraft. Now the flaps will be, mo will be moving sorry, to 1 plus F, again we get some instructions. So IAS 200, because now we're going to be with flaps 1. So IAS 200. Now the heading, you have to go in mo uh, select mode, and the heading will be 164, which is a 30 degrees intercept angle to the runway. And 3700, we already have that figure right there. And now set your trust levers to climb. Climb. And now FSI panel takes the control. And as you can see, everything will be set for you. We are going down to 3700 again. We are on a 30 degrees intercept. For now, the only thing you need to do is just cancel any caution, any warning, and let FSI panel do the job. The aircraft is moving forward, this is completely normal. Now my ILS is set. At this stage, we can turn on flight director if we want to, and it's, it's better to have it on. And it tells you as well to check LS if you want, so LS, LS. And now we get ALT STAR, 3700. So we will get the control as soon as we are stable at 3,700. So you see now the message, aircraft is ready, set the MCDU as, the, as desired, sorry, and when ready, click acknowledge to fly. So basically now I'm in the uh, vector's position. You can see the, the flaps 1 plus F. We still have some stuff to do here. Here the gear is still down. This is the beta phase I need to... Uh, to change that the gear will be up in fact now we are still um, with the beta team uh, finding and fine-tuning the uh, setup so that will be fixed otherwise the lights are set as appropriate and everything is ready for you so let's see now what happens when I click acknowledge I'll just bring the gear up manually and that's about it now we are on the intercept so I can arm the approach we have lock and glide slope arm, and my runway should be on my left here. We can see it right there. So FSI panel has done the job properly, and the Airbus will intercept the final track anytime soon. Set manage speed. I could do it or not. Now I'm flying in a selected speed. 
And as always, you could have set your MCDU as needed before taking the control. All right, this is how easy it is to fly an approach with the Phoenix A320. It's a beautiful aircraft, very nice job. I'm very pleased with that aircraft. And it is a beta uh, team version now, so it is not yet released. Uh, it should be released very, very soon, as soon as we have fixed uh, just a couple of issues to make sure that everything is working properly. All right, as always, stay safe, happy landing, and see you soon. Bye-bye.